Yo, yo, January 22nd, 2021. Hey, what's up? January 22nd, 2021. Big Bear Lake, California. Right now it is 7.40 p.m. 40, well, it says 42 degrees right here, but I know that's wrong. I just started the car. And it's, for some reason, there must be something warm next to my house. Because it, it always says something like way higher. I know it's not much colder. It's probably like 10 degrees colder, but still. Um, So we're just gonna go for a little drive and check out the scene. We're gonna go over to Fonskin. Linda Uribe! Guys, Linda has been a friend on here for a while. And, uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, thank you, Linda. She's so sweet. She, she always says the kindest things. Like, she's so sweet. I appreciate you and really appreciate what your husband did for this country. Just awesome, dude. Um, yeah, so. Thank you, Linda. And Linda lives over here, guys. She lives in part of the Big Bear Valley. We'll just say that. I don't want to give it up too much, but yeah, she's very, 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 very cool. And then, uh, yeah, someone else left a comment earlier, you guys. And if you read it, like, I guess I, I may have, have responded a, a little bit mean, but like, I was just responding the same way that I got the comment. Like, that's like some things in me still haven't changed much but I'm not as vile about it, you know? So like basically they were, they were giving you, giving me crap about pointing out different areas of what I thought were like sledding areas on over by Fonskin. And I, I guess they aren't. And she got really mad about it. And uh, I was like, how dare you tell them to go there? That's the bald eagle, blah, 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 blah. There's signs everywhere. And so like, I, she didn't sound like Mickey Mouse like that really, but so I told her <laughs> in return my people know how to read she doesn't have to be so condescending <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah sorry about that but anyway I mean I'm you know it's it's like if you guys see signs that say like this is like a bald eagle like uh, uh whatever man like whatever special special thing they have you know <laughs> it's uh I'm, I'm sure you guys will will see those signs especially when there's a lot of them i guess so um you know you guys can read and i just i got a little bit up, upset with the condescension but i can give it as good as i can take it i know two wrongs don't make a right but um with these little things like i sometimes feel better <laughs> no i don't really i really don't but uh um, I'm just trying to act tough, I guess. But that did, that did irritate me. Um, and then because she was giving me crap, I decided to like use, you know, you guys as like a tool to to attack right back. <laughs> just seriously, two wrongs don't make a right, folks. So you just saw what what happened. So yeah. Anyway, I apologize to that person, but they didn't have to be so holier than thou and feel a sense of entitlement like beyond entitled just amazing to me wow like like guys if if you guys see like a no trespassing sign or like signs like that like i'm sure you guys will be like huh let's go further let's go see what's inside <laughs> you know like i bet that's not what you'll do you'll probably say hey honey let's go find someplace else to go because this is someone's private property like seriously just so irritating to me but anyway we're on stanfield cutoff and it's snowing these windows right here oh my gosh that's so, that's so windy okay that's towards uh that's yeah that's like towards the dam out there look at how bright and cool that is that is so beautiful and then out there is towards baldwin that's baldwin lake out there oh it's so awesome the sky it's so beautiful i love it so much you guys so we are gonna take just the tour around the lake but we're gonna make it quick this time this is gonna be not like the, the hour long but it's gonna give you a sense of how much snow is over here as opposed to the other side like by the dam where that is technically the snowiest part of town over by the dam over by the dam dam the John Claude Van Dam and yeah we like it when there's a lot of snow 
And we like it when other people turn off their rights. When I turn off my rights, thank you. See, I don't get that. Like when they, when you're right in front of them and you turn off your rights first and then like they wait like five seconds and then to turn off theirs, is that like a power trip too? Maybe it is because like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I do my power trips in other ways. <laughs> But yes, my friend, we need to be very careful here. Oh, look at Snow Summit right now. Through the trees. Oh, geez. Muy feliz. Oh. Look at that, man. That is so awesome. I love it. That is just so awesome, guys. That's Snow Summit. That's We're, we're on the other side of the lake. I don't know if you guys can see the lake at all, but I hope you can because it's so pretty. Wow, look at that night view of the lake. That is sick. You know what, I need to slow down. What am I doing? There's like ice and snow on the road. I'm like focusing on the lake. What a coup. Don't care much about, well, now I care a lot about myself because of you guys and stuff, but like, honestly, like I would much, much rather like something happen to me than me cause an injury to somebody else. So I do need to be very, very, very careful and less selfish sometimes when I'm out here driving. Selfish meaning like driving fast. Um, I know I can handle it, but the thing is, is there are times and certain situations where it doesn't matter what you're driving. Even on the, 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 the slightest little incline or decline, it doesn't matter what tires you have. Four wheel drive, eight wheel drive, 36 wheel drive, foot like it just doesn't matter like you, you will you will be sliding and we don't get that too often up here where it's that that crazy but it happens um and it did happen the last big storm we had on maple drive in sugarloaf cars were sliding out of control all day long i felt so bad for them man all day long this one hitting one another. Boom, boom, back to back to back to back to back to back. It was crazy. Look at, look at that. That's Snow Summit. And look, it's snowing. Like, snowing in Snow Summit. Hey, I hope my buddy Jordan Groves never watches these, these videos, man. I miss you, bro. It'd be nice to hang out again sometime. We had a falling out, you guys, tw like tw uh, 19 years ago. 19 years ago, man, and like slowly re I'm trying to rebuild things because I screwed up big time. I screwed up big time, like, like, uh, man. It wasn't something in intentional though, like, it, it, it really wasn't, but I should have been thinking more. So, anyway, but long story short, like, he's finally, like, accepted my friend friend request and like he's like married with like kids and stuff now so I like really want to see the dude he was like my he was like my best friend back then man and the best times of my life were spending time at at, at, at that guy's place they they have a five acre property in South Laguna Beach you guys right next to uh, three arch bay the whole five acres on the beach side is his family's property dr. Gary Groves very very well-known physician and or like uh, uh, through what he's done, like he's he's just he's just an, an amazing man, and and set his family and like <laughs> generations and generations of their family free. Just just an amazing amazing fellow. Um, when we went on vacation, because his family like goes on all these international vacations all the time. When we go on vacation, each kid would like take a friend with them, and so. When we went to Aruba, Curacao, and uh, his dad's uh, suitcase was just books. Like it was like the heaviest suitcase, and it was just books and just like, like, just like change of, of, of like daily underclothes type stuff. Like the dude's such such a cool dude, eccentric guy, um, just brilliant man. And uh, yeah, I just and and seriously, like that property right now, you guys is worth probably close to like 50 or 60 million dollars probably more actually no joke it's as i said it's like right right before you get to the three arch bay stoplight on the beach side that whole five acres i used to spend every single day there <laughs> like right on the ocean right on the cliffs um 
they had a, a pier house there too, but a few years into them owning the the, uh, the property, it was just such a dilapidated dilapidated pier house that they they made them uh, take it down. But that pier house was a staple down there for a long time, and so that whole beach part right there, that's their own private beach, you guys. Like it's it's just amazing, just just cool freaking people too, like down to earth people, um, like. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> they're the people I would like to emulate once I'm extremely wealthy, If it, when that day comes, not if, when, right? Right, guys? We, we all say when it comes, not if, because it's, it's going to come for all of us, right? I believe in all of you. So anyway, enough of that. I love you, Jordan. I miss you and your sister. Miss your, miss your mom and dad. Well, I miss your sisters, All you know, period. I just miss all of you, dude. So anyway, I'll talk to you. Hopefully you get back in touch with me soon. Anyway, see you later, JTG. He, oh, last thing about him. He also took me to game one of the only Lakers loss in the whole playoffs. Game one of the finals versus the Sixers in his, um, they have uh, PR section seats at Staples Center. So back in like, what, that was 2001, right? Um, or like something, yeah. 2001 and the Lakers lost game one <laughs> the only game the whole playoffs they lost if, if they would have won that game which they should have they would have swept through the whole playoffs which was which was just just an amazing feat but I got to go to that game and in the premiere section like you're just waiting on the whole time it's just it's it like th these are the most generous people man amazing people anyway enough about that we're in fawn skin now Sorry about that. Oops. Turn on the brights here. There we go. Yeah, boy. So I thought I was where I was supposed to be, like in, in my head, <laughs> because it looked so different. And I, so I, I don't know. I, I just felt like I was somewhere completely different. But I knew where I was. I was just really, really, really weird. So it, it was like a, one, one, like one of those spatial issues, I guess. I don't, I don't know what. I hope I'm not getting anything like crazy. I already know I've got some mental issues, but I don't want any actual brain issues. Either way. Yeah guys, we're in fun skin. Miss Yuri, oh I hope this guy can get up there. I hope he can get up there, buddy. Oh, please make it. Please make it. Oh I hate seeing that. I need to get a big, like, ramp rope. He didn't make it, look, see? Poor guy, he's back in, oh, man. I need to get one of those, uh, like, big metal front bumpers just so I can help people. Just pull right up to the back of them and just tap the, tap the back of you and just start in the gas a little bit. I've gotten a lot, of, a lot of people out of trouble like that, especially in my driveway when I didn't have a choice but to put my car in jeopardy, but it was okay. Anyway. Let me turn this off for a minute. We're entering downtown Fonskin in just a second here, but hang on, I gotta turn. I'm gonna turn right here. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so here we go, we're, we're, we're turning back right here. I just had to pull over for a second. Believe it or not, I thought I had a, I thought my tire was going flat. But I was too embarrassed to say anything about it. After I'm talking all this smack about how great of a driver I am and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Because I'm not a great driver. Just in this type of weather, I feel like I, I exceed most, you know, people's expectations for what the average driver can do in this type of weather. And right now, th like this temperature 29, we're starting to get into like a little bit of a danger zone with this sleet mix. Actually, it, it was mostly snow just a little bit ago, but still sleet's mixing in. Um, we don't want any like frozen issues because that's when I said it, it just doesn't matter. Look, when, when when they say it's like icy and stuff like that, like that's just like snow packed down on top of snow, packed down on top of snow. And it just it just creates a, a hard packed ice icy surface. But we're but I'm referring right now to like black ice and stuff. Like uh, yeah. And as a matter of fact, it's snowing right now. 
with a little bit actually yeah it's this is basically just snow now it's amazing how we're always getting sleep I mean obviously it's because of our elevation and the temperatures when the storms are arriving it's just so similar so much so much of the time it's pretty amazing Get over here at nighttime. It's just so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can tell, but anyway, and that snow summit straight ahead. Jeez, it's so unbelievably nice, guys. Anyway, now we're on the side of fawn skin that uh, rides all along the lake all the way till we get to the dam and it's it's a nice drive you know what unfortunately i need to run a little bit it's a little bit cold i didn't bring my jacket i didn't bring my jacket tow truck like hauling butt like just catching up with me because I hope it's a tow truck not like a cop as I speed up I'm just kidding I'm not speeding up I would never do that if, if it was a police officer no way if it were if it were if it were if it were there will be a police officer yes there will be so beautiful guys I mean I'm, like this is this is this storm is the calm before the storm okay guys like that's how significant the next storm is gonna be I should have called this like the storm the calm storm before the calm or no <laughs> the calm uh, never mind never mind I'm so tired I can't even think straight right now anyway i hope you guys are having a good one hope the other video uploaded so you guys can see what's cracking what's going on up in big bear how things going oh wow we just went through a blizzard for like a second that was pretty cool Yeah, guys you know what when you come up here bear smoke shop and vape seriously wonderful place man i i love the guy that owns it he's just a wonderful family man super cool dude sahil wonderful man and uh you know what like uh <laughs> um yeah they, they're, they're they're just super cool people man and they have like the biggest selection of those puff bars when i used to smoke or quit quit smoking i was we're trying to quit I went to those for a little bit and it was it was very helpful um, even though it's still I don't know I don't know what to think but I know a lot of people love those and uh, as I said he's a wonderful person so I'd like everyone to shop there for everything and I've heard that those are a big selling thing at most of these smoke shops so bear smoke and vape wonderful place man just the nicest nicest owner Especially the, the people that like to help themselves, man. I, I really like helping them out too, like like more. And this dude's just all about it. So anyway, look, we're getting closer to the dam and the snow is picking up. This is great. Dam and snow. <laughs> And apparently 
some of these storms are going to be so cold that uh, we could get snow all the way down to like Apple Valley. Maybe not Apple Valley, but Lucerne Valley. And that's at the bottom of the mountain on Highway 18. And guys, check it out. We're coming up to the dam right now. This is the dam. So nice. I don't even know if I'm at, like, if I'm on the line or anything to trigger this damn signal. <laughs> but I'm not gonna run it. Definitely not gonna run it. Oh, this guy's helping us out. Uh, that's a United Rentals truck. It looked like a tow truck in my rear mirror, but he was hauling, hauling some serious butt. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like for you guys when you're crossing the Big Bear Dam. Um, what point, uh, yeah, I don't know how far along in the video this is, but once you cross the Big Bear Dam, and then you have cars right here, like, stopped in the middle of the road putting on chains. Guys, last, that's, I don't suggest that. That's not, like, like, that's just a bad place. Well, no, he's not putting on chains. I hope he's okay, but that's a really bad place to be. I'm not giving him crap. I'm just saying it's a really bad place to be because lots of other cars that are up here right now do not know how to drive in this stuff quite yet or just aren't comfortable with it and it's very easy to slide out and just hit hit those cars that are parked right there and god forbid someone who's trying to put on chains gets gets rear-ended by somebody um like that's that happens up here more often than you guys think and it does not end well so please be very careful you guys I don't want to lose any subscribers. <laughs> so I see him just dropping off. Like every time there's like someone who gets hit putting like chains on, there's like one subscriber less. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys, oh my gosh. Hey, you know what? You know what, dude? I'm, I'm joking. You guys know I'm joking, right? You guys know I'm totally joking. Okay. I hope so. Because I am. I love you guys so much. That's just my personality, okay? But I'm totally joking with you guys. I love you guys. Like a lot. Whenever I'm down, I swear, I can just go to my comment section and just like read read the comments and respond to them. And I'm not as much down as I used to be, but you know, it's it's, it's still like it's still, you know. I mean, life's not easy, you guys. Life's not easy. And now that all of you like what I do, for you guys and for myself um like i don't want to let you guys down and and sometimes i'm just so tired like so tired but i'm 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 obsessive compulsive and i want to succeed at everything i do and i put myself through the ringer with everything i do like i i go a million percent and in, in the past i'd go a million percent and then quit but now it's like i've taken on so many different things all at a million percent like uh it's my Elon Musk level of a million percent. <laughs> you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Just, I'm doing so many things that would typically be like a, a full-time gig for like most other things. And, um, and I'm doing them all because I'm passionate and I, I just love it. This type of stuff right here makes me so happy. Like, like, look at how beautiful this is. I know I'm annoying, but maybe just mute me and put on some Christmas music or something and just watch this. This is so pretty. You know? Tell everyone around you how much you love them, all your loved ones. Because this is a very, uh, very fragile existence we have here. So just make sure you just enjoy life. so happy out there and be joyous and grateful and show other people around you how much you love them even the ones who frustrate the heck out of you you know try to focus on their good aspects and just you know think about wanting more of that for them and stuff like that I know it's tough but um, I've I heard that for years in and out of AA since I was in my mid-teens in and 
now than AA for the past 25, 30 years. And uh, yeah, like I just, I just, you know, I never wanted to think good thoughts of, of, of my enemies and want good for them, even if I didn't, you know, want it. But the truth is, is even if you, if, if you don't, you can do what's called fake until you make it, right? And literally, like, after two weeks of every night, right before you go to bed, just saying some nice things about, or thinking nice, wonderful things about people that you're, you're, you're kind of struggling with and just wanting the best for them. After a couple of weeks, you're legitimately going to want the best for them. I'm not joking. That's just, that's, that's just one way of like imposing the law of attraction, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's just a, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So you never have to be super bummed or upset at anybody or allow yourself to feel these feelings because you know, those are miserable feelings and you don't want to feel those and you don't have to. So if you just want good for, for people and stop focusing on the negative stuff, you never know, never know what's going to happen. It changed my life. I'm not perfect. I still screw up all the time. I'm still constantly judging and this and that, but I, I, I catch myself and that's, that's a blessing and that's taken time to be able to catch myself and put myself in check. Because when I start judging other people, all that positive energy that I've had just goes right down the tube. It's, it's very sad. So. That was my Dr. Phil moment. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, man. This is pretty cool. It's like you guys are sitting in the passenger seat. Hopefully you guys can see me. I know it's kind of light through the through the phone, so that so that's kind of cool. But yeah, you guys are like right here in the passenger seat. What's up? How you doing? Hey, so what are we doing right now? We're just gonna go through the village again, check it out, see what's going on over there. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah, let's go over there. All right. Yeah. Hey, let's go down there. Yeah, that sounds good. Can we go there? Yeah, we'll go there too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I like it a lot. <laughs> Seriously, like, I could just talk and talk and talk about nothing. And some important things. <laughs> I hope most, most of you catch me, like, on the important part of when I'm talking. Otherwise, you're like, gosh, this guy's just such a, such a nincompoop. Nick can poop. I just got a snow alert from my weather channel app. By the way, that's the app that's always worked the best for me since I've lived here. The, oh my gosh, so look, we're gonna take the back streets because of this, oh my gosh, and it's, no, oh, it's only 8.15 p.m. I wonder why it's a little bit bad. But, uh, um, oh my gosh, I forgot what I was gonna say because we came up on this traffic really quickly. Damn it. I hate that. Um, damn, what was I talking about? Gosh, that's pathetic. I do have my little uh, my little dash cam that I could probably. Here's the dash cam right here. I could probably. Oh, look here. We'll watch through, through two cameras right here. Oh, no, we're not going to go down Edgemore because we're going to be fine. These guys are going at a decent rate. We would have been stuck in all that traffic. But yeah, anyway, sorry about that, guys. Um, what was I talking about? Ugh, so irritating. Um, yeah, it's so irritating. But hey, this is gonna give you guys a real perspective of what it's like driving in town right now. Um, as you know, still we're we're on that route that the majority of you take coming into town, which is Highway 330, into onto Highway 18. Obviously, it's a must for Highway 18 on the front side to get into town because there's no other way unless you take some of the like those 2N10 type roads, those off-roading roads. Which I actually took one of those roads from. Uh, um, oh my gosh. Um, lake something oh man. oh man it's in between like running springs and, and big bear and it's very high elevation it's a little tiny town why can't i remember it um green something lake i i don't know but anyway um <laughs> green valley lake green valley lake yes green valley lake you guys 
like uh, there's uh, I took a back road from Green Valley Lake all the way to uh, what's that to Holcomb Valley and Holcomb Valley is on the other side of the lake on the North Shore side on the Fonskin side up in those hills and Holcomb Valley was actually the most populous part of this whole area about a hundred years ago or yeah about a, or maybe a little bit more than that during the during the major gold rush down here and so there was there was a bustling town up there a higher elevation than here like probably I don't know what 600 feet higher 700 feet higher um, basically like as high up as the top of Snow Summit and, and Bear Mountain but on that side of the mountains and when the gold was slim and few <laughs> after a little bit and they just abandoned the town like lots of gold towns gold rush towns they still have mines up there um, I think most if not all of them are are like uh, antiques now <laughs> you don't want to go inside man even though people still do just to go exploring, but you don't want to get trapped in there. And anyways, we, we want to stay here again at the Frontier. I did a recording of the Frontier in, in the biggest room um, about a year ago. Okay. We're going to go into the village. Because it's going to also bypass a little bit of traffic. Huh? Sweet. I need to clean the inside of this windshield. Yep, guys, this is what it's like right now in town. Just cruising through Big Bear, people getting gas, putting on chains, chain putting on her, chain putting on her. Just putting on chains, regular day in Big Bear when we have snow. It's all part of the experience, you guys. Like, what what I try to suggest to you guys is, because I know it's it's a pain in the butt to put on chains, especially when it's cold out, this and that. Like, but that's when you're, that, or that, or, that's when you have to put on chains, is when it's really, you know, cold out and and snowy. You don't want to put them on, on the on the you know regular pavement at regular temperature, and just drive up the mountain at twenty degree or twenty miles an hour. Um, yeah, chains are part of the experience. So you should look at all the things that may seem like they're a, a pain in the butt. And by the way, that's where we stayed, remember? Last three nights. Um, it, like, don't look at the things that are typically a pain in the butt as a pain in the butt when you come up here. Look at them as part of the experience. And, like, get to know it. Like, have fun with it. Learn how to put on the chains. Um, you know, like, a, learn proper ways to, like, like winterize your stuff and do this and do that and just take extra extra measure because that's all part of it just like lots of people love doing their uh their regular uh like uh li like living off the grid on vacations or like stuff like like that I'm, I'm not saying do that permanently but like yeah it's it's like they're they're fully engulfed in what they are doing and they're making it harder for them but they're just really breaking it down to its fundamentals and just just really doing it and uh so if you guys look at it like that i think you'll have a better a better time um you know because why not why not have fun putting on chains learn how to put on chains you know it's it's only going to keep you safe and i guarantee you you're like like if like someone says oh i don't know how to put on chains i promise you you're gonna be like oh i totally do <laughs> you know i promise you because you're like you're gonna want to help them because it's a good feeling to help doing stuff like that so um yeah okay hang on a second just hang on for a quick second sorry about that guys Anyway, we're just pulling out of the village right now. And I was going to stop here and get some, get my mail, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood. I want to go get this video put together to get it uploaded for you guys to see that. It's not bad right now. I thought we might have a, a little tiny bit more by now, but it's, it's not even a quarter of an inch, you guys. It's like, it's not even a tenth of an inch. It's just a trace. 
it's a trace of snow, bro. Oh, maybe it's a maybe it's a fifth of an inch. <laughs> a finch. <laughs> it's a finch. It's a finch, bro. Guys, it's, it's really not too bad right now. 29 degrees. But what I'm concerned about is what the weather's like driving up the mountain because that side of the, uh, of the mountain range gets all the weather first without it being blocked by anything. So they get hammered. And if those parts of the mountain range were at a high elevation, like we are, they would get so much more snow than we would, than we do actually, but they aren't, they are not. Sorry about that, you guys. The phone keeps on like uh, getting to a point where it, it it says too hot, about to shut down. So I just I don't know why it keeps doing that because the, the darn air isn't on or the the heater's not on. At least it's not on right now. I've you know I know I've I, I've kept it on before. Hey, you know what? We're gonna go up towards Snow Summit the back way because we're crazy like that. Oh man, maybe not. It looks like there's some amber lamps up there. Oh look, and this guy's struggling to get up the hill, I think. Nope, he's fine. But we're gonna turn on uh what is this one here? Is it what is this one? Oh Oh yes, we're turning on Comstock. I know this one. So unfortunately we're not gonna Wow, look at how much snow's on this street. It's not deep, you guys. It's not at all. It's like it's like a like a quarter of an inch, if that. It's, re it's really not 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 bad at all. But yeah, this is. Oh man, look at these cool little houses. Not little. I mean, these are nice little houses. Big houses. I like it a lot. Are you? What are you doing, my friend? Are you okay? <laughs> they're the, they're having fun in the snow toss the snowballs at each other. See, that's what it's all about, you guys. That's what it's all about, man. Having fun with your friends, throwing snowballs, just, just not giving a crap. Seriously, just come up here and do that, you guys, please. We beg of you. Come here, just have a good time. Big Bear loves you, Big Bear needs you. We really do, without you guys, there is no, there is no Big Bear, there, there is no retreat. You know, you, you'd have to be a very wealthy, retired person to live here if, 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 if there's no tourism because there, there'd be no jobs so anyway we just took a little shortcut over by snow shamit i think i do i need to make a left yes i need to make it yep uh, yep we're gonna make a left here's the park the parking lot or part of it oh man and these houses are right up on the parking lot but it's like right in front of the place so it's perfect they're very stoked Look at that, there's Snow Summit right there. And we have some kids sledding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool, man. Just wait, you guys. Like, there's not much snow to play with right now, but there's gonna be a little too much to play with. I'm really worried about being able to get out of my driveway. I'm not joking, because the snow plow comes through and just wrecks, like, like all the snow gets plowed up from the road on, like, right in front of the driveway. And it's like four, five, six feet deep, no joke. And it's like piled high, so it's really difficult. But yeah, so we, we're coming in here to Snow Summit real quick. We're just gonna do a little, wow. That's so Guys, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Yeah, you don't see, it. You don't see a car coming, buddy? All right, check it out, guys. This is this is beautiful. I'm gonna get a beautiful picture up here because I need a picture of this. That's just spectacular. Oh, I love it, man. We're gonna pretend like we're picking someone up. They're like, oh, he's there at the end. <laughs> there, 
if like someone sees that, they'd be like, don't let that guy back here. But this is Snow Summit, you guys. I love this place. I got to see no effects and the Vandals play here. It was so awesome. So awesome. Look at this. Dude, look at all these people. Hold on a second. I just got to get a nice little picture of this. I can't believe it, man. Here's Snow Summit. I still feel like I'm like a, a, a like a visitor every time I come here, man. It's so cool. Look at that. Look at that, man. This is awesome. Love that. So much. Just makes me so happy. All these people are having such a good time, man. That really makes me happy. I don't know why it makes me so happy, but it really does. Just to see all of you guys really enjoying yourselves. This guy had a good time. I just can't believe it, dude. It's one of the most beautiful things ever. It almost makes me want to cry. But I won't. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. All right, let's see here. All right, now we're back. We're on Summit Boulevard now. So this is like we're leaving snow, like Snow Summit from the way that most people enter. But we're coming out of the exit. And these places right here, like renting them during like summertime and springtime, is so inexpensive you guys but then once winter time comes they kick out all their tenants and then they raise the rent by a lot but it's right on summit boulevard you know but still i don't i mean i just i get it because our town has to make a year's worth of income in like five months because even though we do get summer tourism it's nothing like winter wow nothing like winter time not even close so Brownie Lane. This is where 7-Eleven is. The big 7-Eleven right at the corner of uh, Summit Boulevard and Big Bear Boulevard. Most of you will be familiar with that place if you come to Snow Summit often. Because you pass there often. Every time you go by, you pass 7-Eleven. Okay. Enough of the horse crap. Enough of the horsing around, Nick. You bastard. 28 degrees, 833. And we're, yeah, it's snowing pretty good. Snowing pretty good. Oops, there's an amber lamps. See the amber lamps over there? Hope everyone's okay. It's probably, it was probably, uh, well, no, I was gonna say it's probably a skiing or snowboarding accident, but if that was the case, it was because someone was drunk and climbed up the mountain and skied down or something. But most people get drunk, not most people, but a lot, of, a lot of people get a good buzz going when they're skiing and snowboarding, especially at, at Bear. I'll tell you guys right now, I used to work at Bear and uh, it's a great resort. It really is for the more fun party atmosphere. It's awesome. Better snowboarding, stuff like that. Like, But if you want like the more family orientated atmosphere, I suggest Snow Summit. Um, it's just got more of a, yeah, it's, it's just, that's where I would go with like my, my family. If I had a family. If I had my own family. We've stayed there. I did a video of that a couple months ago, the Best Western. Yeah, boy. Anyway, I love you guys. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. January 22nd, 2021. Peace out. This is just the update.